There will be no charges in the shooting death of 14 year old Jordell Richardson. He was fatally shot by an Aurora police officer in June after an attempted robbery. Now, store employees said Richardson had a gun. That was later determined to be a pellet gun. Good evening. I'm glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jessica Porter. Tonight, Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio is speaking with community members and shares their reactions to today's decision. We now know the Aurora officer who fired this deadly shot, killing 14 year old Jordell Richardson, will not face criminal charges. I'm not just disappointed. Um, or hurt with with the the DA's decision not to press charges. Um, it makes it makes my stomach sick. Tim Hernandez, who now represents House District Four, taught at Jordell School in Aurora. Hernandez fighting through tears after the 18th Judicial District Court announced no criminal liability for Officer Rock Ruschetska. I'm heartbroken today because I don't know what is going to change and what is going to stop next year when somebody finishes their eighth grade continuation, what is going to be different and what's gonna stop them from being killed. Reverend Leon Kelly, the executive director of Open Door Youth Gang Alternatives is mourning the tragedy, but says he expected the outcome based on the body camera video. Do I condone it? Do I condone all of it? You know, I, I don't condone none of, none of the things that kids are the choices that they are making. I've seen it happen over and over and over. Kelly says while family and friends want to hold someone accountable for the death of their loved one, he's asking the community to consider this question. Who is holding the hood accountable? His friends who put him up to this, who gave him the gun, who put him in the position to go and, and be in a compromising position. Aurora's police chief Art Acevedo released a statement today in response to the DA's decision, saying officers had to make split second decisions based upon information available to them. And regardless of the finding, it will continue to weigh heavily on members of our department. For Denver 7, I'm Claire Lavazorio.